Okay, let's talk about a right triangle. A wire, here's the wire, a wire is stretched from the ground to the top of an antenna tower. The wire is 15 feet long. The height of the tower is 3 feet longer than the distance D from the tower's base right here to the end of the wire right here. So here we have a right triangle. There's a 90 degree angle here. This is distance D. This is distance D plus 3. And we're given that the wire, which is the hypotenuse of the right triangle, is 15 feet long. Whenever you're asked about the length of the sides of a right triangle, not the area, but the length, you're going to use the Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Usually the vertical side is a and the, the horizontal side is b. They don't have to be, but it's just usually the way it is. I think of a as being altitude and b as being base. C is always the slanted side, the hypotenuse. And what hypotenuse means in Greek is that it's the side opposite. Opposite what? Well, opposite the right angle right here, the 90 degree angle. So the hypotenuse is always the longest side and the slanted side. Okay? And that's C. So, since our formula is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, since a is d plus 3, I put it in parentheses here and square it, and the side b is d, so I squared that. I added the two a, well, the two sides a and b, and then equals 15 squared. And now I'm ready to solve this problem. You have the quantity d plus 3 squared, so that means you're going to have d plus 3 times d plus 3. We're going to multiply these together, then add in d squared, okay? Meanwhile, over here on the right-hand side of the equal sign, 15 squared is uh, 225. Okay, so here we're going to multiply these two binomials together. d times d is d squared. d times 3 is 3d. 3 times d is 3d. And 3 times 3 is 9. So we have d squared plus 3d plus 3d plus 9 plus d squared, which was already there, equals 225. Now I combine my like terms. d squared plus d squared is 2d squared. 3d plus 3d is 6d. And 9 is 9. Equals 225. Now, from here, we can't solve this yet. We have to use the principle of zeros. Here, I'm moving up some. That means I have to have a zero over here, not 225. That's what the zero principle is, or the principle of zeros. So to get a zero over here, I have to subtract 225 from both sides. Now, over here on the right, 225 minus 225 is 0. Over here on the left, I'll have 2d squared plus 6d plus 9 minus 225 is minus 216. Now, notice that 2 will go evenly into all three of these terms. And actually, it goes evenly into 0. So we have a GCF here, 2. 6 is 2 times 3, 
and 216 is 2 times negative 108. I pull out the 2 to the front and put what's left over in parentheses, d squared plus 3d plus 2, well, uh, minus 108, that's the leftover, d squared plus 3d minus 108. Uh, then I divide both sides of the equation by 2, and I can only do this because it's an equation. Equations let me do wonderful things because I can do exactly the same thing to both sides of the equation. Okay, once I, once I cancel out my 2's here, and 2 goes into 0, 0 times, I have d squared plus 3d minus 108 equals 0. Now I have to factor my negative 108 into all of its factor pairs. Um, I've got to move this up. There we go. Into all of its factor pairs and then check which factor pair has numbers that will add up to the middle number here, 3. That's how you know you have the right numbers when you're factoring. So I come back down here and I add negative 9 plus 12, that equals 3. So negative 9 times 12 is negative 108. Negative 9 plus 12 is positive 3. So I take my negative 9, I put it in here, and it becomes minus 9. I take my positive 12 and put it in here, and it becomes plus 12. So I have d minus 9 times d plus 12 equals 0. Now, I, fact, I, I set each factor equal to 0. Nine, uh, d minus 9 equals 0. d plus 12 equals 0. And then I solve each of these little equations. And I come up with the solutions, which are d equals 9 and d equals negative 12. Solutions to what? Well, solutions to d squared plus 3d minus 108 equals 0. So now I have two answers. Remember that we're looking for this distance right here. There's no such thing as a negative distance. Not unless you're being, not unless you're in a, ph a physics class. You do deal with negative distance there, but we don't here. So, I'm assuming that d equals negative 12 is a nonsense answer. But d equals positive 9 is a good answer. So, d is going to equal 9 d plus 3 is going to equal 9 plus 3, which is 12. So the distance, the distance d is 9, and the vertical distance here is 12. Now you go do this problem. You try it all on your own without my notes, and then check the notes. And then do it for yourself. Talk to you later.